girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose forever they did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year this is the perfect gift for you your mom your wife your husband whatever you want to say i'm sorry i love you i miss you say it with these beautiful flowers so if you want to get your bouquet right now go to the link on the description below and use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order again this is the perfect gift for anyone so whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, very true, but welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Barray Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And girl, it is time to talk to talk about Vanderpump Rules. Okay, so the show is filming. Uh, still no news about Raquel Levis. So this is the thing. As I told you yesterday, they are negotiating her contract. The bitch is like, well, I already destroyed all of my friendships. The only thing that I'm going to get from this show are coins, you know. So she is negotiating. She's she's playing, you know, hard ball. But I, I'm also thinking until what point can she really push this? she like we want to see her back to just like do little things here and there but it's not like she is the star of the show so what is she expecting to get a million dollars you know what i mean like i will be like bitch calm down calm down okay no know, know your place you are not an og you are not you know loved by everyone you are a mistress okay who is hated by everyone so i don't know why she's playing so hard you know i will be grateful that they want me to back on the show you know what i mean so anyways uh they're still not happening now next week the the whole cast is supposed to go to lake tahoe and the producers really want raquel to be there doing what i have no idea how I mean, I think they're honestly are waiting for Ariana to like really grab her by the hair and drag her side to side. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that they're really waiting for because I don't understand why she needs to be there. So they're really expecting that the negotiations kick in before the tree because they really want her there. I don't know. I honestly, I don't need her. I don't miss her like girl. Now on the other side, people well, not people, but like some people, you know, are actually starting to get very concerned about Tom Sandoval, okay? And listen to me on this one. This is super like weird, but apparently he, you know, has been filming and filming some scenes here and there, but now it's kind of like getting to him that he actually lost absolutely everything and everyone around him over some you know sex with this random right so um he has been seen like filming by himself he has been seen like the other day they were filming at i think it was sore and literally everyone was filming on one table and tom sandoval was completely alone on another table and he was crying by himself you know and now some people are starting to think is it going to be too much for tom sandoval is it going to push him to you know some kind of limit right so when it comes to raquel we all know what happened everyone hated her so much and everyone pushed her so much that she literally had to go to a mental retreat for over two months to get to the the right you know space mentally hopefully right well tom sandoval has not done any of this he basically left you know 
uh, left the, everyone here in LA, but he just went on to like playing with his little band and all of that, but he has not done the work to either process what happened or even trying to become a better person, you know? And I think finally it's hitting to him. I think he thought, ah, this will just blow out. You know, I think he thought like, when we start filming again, those bitches are gonna just come back and, and wanted to film with me. And apparently is not the case. Uh, we saw Sheena Shea like talking to Tom Sandoval, screaming at him, you know, and basically kind of like, leave me alone situation. And I think Sandoval is kind of like realizing shit, you know, like these people are not bending. They really hate me. And now we're going to have to see what is going to be his behavior confronting this. Is this going to be like a please, please forgive me. I know I did something wrong. Please uh, forgive me. I, I Whatever. Or is this going to be like. Ugh, but everyone forgot Jack super fast or everyone forgot Kristen super fast. Like, why are they not forgiving me? You know what I mean? So it will all depends on what attitude he's getting towards this whole situation. Um, one thing is for sure, I know, uh, like, when it comes to, uh, of course, Ariana and uh, Katie and um, Lala, I don't think there is anything that he can done, do, like, on that side, you know? Uh, or James Kennedy. I think James Kennedy is also done with him. But when it comes to like maybe Sheena, I think Sheena is going to be the first one to kind of like forgive him and kind of like find a way to move forward, you know? Um, now that, I mean, if Jax joins and Kristen joins, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I think eventually it's going to happen because yes, Kristen got forgiven as well when everything happened with her. Uh, but it didn't happen from one season to the other, and it, it didn't happen in like a couple months. You know, it took over two years to people really forgive Kristen. So I think he needs to get that on his mind that at least for a very good time, people are not going to be okay with him. And But yeah, so I, I did read several comments of people being like, okay, when is going to be enough? I mean, he yes, he was a piece of shit and he cheated, but like, when it's going to be enough, what if he end up, you know, doing some kind of craziness or all of that. So, um, I don't know. So anyways, that's the tea, guys. He is all by himself. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below about this one. What are you expecting to happen? And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. Remember, I have a new podcast coming every Monday. It's called Let's Talk About This Mess with the Real Andy of Beret Hills with very special guest and very exclusive tea. It's on Patreon. The link is on the description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.